Ethiopian Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed on Tuesday reiterated before Parliament his pledge not to invade neighbouring nations over the Red Sea ports in an effort to alleviate regional fears, but insisted that his government will not abandon its demand for access. We have no intention of violating or invading the sovereignty of others, but we do call for a discussion on getting access to the sea to conduct business. We don't know what will happen if our demand is not resolved through discussion, negotiation and commercial terms. However, Ethiopia will not fire a single bullet at Eritrea, Somalia, Djibouti or Kenya. Ethiopia lost its coastline after Eritrea broke away from Addis Ababa and formally declared independent in 1993 following a three-decade war. Abiy's remarks last month about the Red Sea raised regional concerns, particularly as tensions emerged with neighboring Eritrea, which has a long coastline. We do not choose to resolve this via conflict. We aim to prevent the conflict, but if people are hungry, they will do anything but accept to die. Ethiopia enjoyed access to a port in Eritrea until the two countries went to war in 1998. Since then, the East African nation has relied largely on Djibouti for imports and exports.